guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will see the design circular dq problem which is from lead code number 641 and uh, this is based on design data structure type problem and in this problem we need to implement the entire logic of dq along with all its apis so let's first understand uh, what is a dq and to be particular a circular dq so when you think about a dq it is a doubly ended queue in a simple queue uh, you have a front and you have a rear right so we can assume one part to be rear and one part to be front so that whenever you append an item you can always append from one end and you can always take out the item from the other end generally we append at the rear and take out from the front that is what we follow now if we talk about a doubly ended queue then a doubly ended queue can insert and remove the items from both ends that is how they are different okay and uh, if i talk about the circular doubly ended queue then this means that they both are joined in a circular way so that if you do rear plus one you will reach to the front and if you do front minus one you will re reach to the rear okay so you can represent it in the form of an array or also in the form of a linked list so if you use array then you have to use a mod operation so that you don't overflow the size because if the maximum size is 4 and you have reached to 4 like 0 1 2 3 and if you want to reach to 4 then you should cycle back again to 0 so you have to always take mod of 4 so that uh, you can implement the logic of the circular dq and you can also go for a linked list where uh, you can use a uh, doubly linked list and uh, have two nodes point to each other like I have already drawn a doubly linked list where you will have a head and I will assume it to be the front and I have a rear and I will assume the tail pointer here. Now whenever I move to the next pointer of the tail then what I will do is I will make the next pointer of 3 point to 2 right initially it was pointing to null because it was a DQ. Now in order to make it as a circular DQ, I will make the next pointer of 3 point to the head and uh, the previous pointer of 2 uh, should be pointing to 3. Now if we do this transformation, then the DQ will change to a circular DQ. Okay. So uh, we can take any of these implementations, array uh, implementation using the mod of max size and the linked list implementation, uh, which is the uh, double linked list type. This question expects that whenever you are implementing, you should always use the most basic type of data structure. Uh, don't ever use DQ and Q in order to implement a circular DQ, right? Now, one problem which you might incur if you are implementing it using, uh, let's say, a linked list is memory leak. A memory leak is when we discard the usage of space without freeing the memory. So this memory does not get added to the available memory pool and the result is high memory usage or if it becomes too high then it can also lead to memory limit exceeded. Even if you don't get an MLE then still the code quality is considered very poor and we should always avoid memory leak at all cost. So whenever we need memory we do allocation using the new pointer calloc or malloc in C and C++ and uh, when we want to deallocate the space we use the free and delete. Uh, generally, I have seen that people don't uh, like to use delete and free in many of the code. They just allocate the space and, and submit the code. Yes, it will get submitted, but it is poor code quality. So I will always request you to uh, take the deallocation uh, seriously, right? It can make or break your interview as well. Now, allocating and deallocating takes higher time. And therefore, uh, you might get higher MS when you run this with deallocation, but it is fine. It is a good uh, code quality. Okay. Now let's see the implementation of each and every API one by one. So first we will look at the insert front. Let's say that uh, we are implementing it using a linked list, which is a doubly linked list and our head and tail pointers are null. That means the next and previous of both the head and tail will be null. The maximum size assumed is K and let's say in this case it is equals to 2. The list size which is the current size of the list is let's say 0. Okay. Now if the insert front API is coming with a value let's say 2. Then a new node will be made uh, having a value 2. And its next pointer will be initialized to null and the previous pointer will also be initialized to null. And if this is the case that uh, head is equals to null then head and tail will be made equals to uh, the new node which is 2. And then this is a DQ, but then in order to make it a circular DQ, we will be uh, making the uh, tail's next point to head and the head's previous point to tail. So this will be how it looks like, right? Now after this, if another uh, call comes in like insert front one, 
okay so we currently have two uh, which is the head as well as tail so i'm not showing you the pointers in this case now if we want to insert one we will make a new node one okay we have made a new node one now the next and uh, previous pointer of it will be null by default so what will happen is since i want to insert it in the beginning so that means it will be to the left of the head so the next pointer will be made equals to head the head's previous pointer will be pointing to this one and then the head will be updated to this new node and then the head's previous pointer will be made to point to the tail and the tail's next pointer will be made to point to the head so this will be how it looks like after inserting one okay now my current state is one and two is present with one pointing to two two pointing back to one and then one is pointing to two like this and two's next pointer pointing to one right so after this uh once we are at this point then let's say an insert front of four is coming right then can we even insert it we have to check the list size so since we have inserted two nodes the list size will become two after every insertion we will do list size plus plus we will be checking the list size with the max size if it is equal then we cannot do any more insertion and this is a case of overflow okay so this is the simple idea of inserting in front right and uh, inserting at the last is also very similar we just have to insert it after the tail inst instead of uh, before the head so if i can give you again the dry run with 214 then let's say the list size will be initialized to zero and then uh, initially we do not have anything so when the new node 2 is made uh, then uh, it is just a single node therefore the head and tail pointer will be pointing to two and the list size will become one the next pointer and the previous pointer will be null but then in order to make it a dq the next pointer will be pointing to two and the previous pointer will also be pointing to the same node after that if uh, i mean the insert front one is coming then what happens is again list size is less than the k value so we can actually insert this one so since one has to be inserted on the right side a new node one will be made two is already present one will be made and then this is your head as well as the tail so when you want to insert at the rear that means insert last then the tail's next pointer will be pointing to the new node and the new node's previous pointer will point to the tail and then tail will be updated so this becomes the new tail next pointer of the tail will be pointing to head and the head's previous pointer will be pointing to tail so we will be inserting on the right hand side this is the insert last right and again if insert last of four is coming then the list size currently is two so since the list size is equals to max size we cannot insert and we have to return false in this case right so let's see the code for both insert front and insert last so before looking at the actual code let me walk you through the node which i have made so in the structure node uh, i have taken a val which is uh, storing the value which is being passed in while do doing the insertion then we have the next and the previous pointer so this will look in this way that the node will hold a value with the next pointer and a previous pointer then this is the constructor of the uh, structure so whenever a new node has to be made then we will be passing the value and when the value is taken then a new node is made uh, with the value here which is this value assigned to the value which is passed in the parameter okay and the next and the previous will be null in the beginning when you create a new node right and then we have the sum of the global variables within the class which is head and tail to maintain the entire state of the doubly linked list right and then uh, we have the max size to remember what is the ma in, uh, entire max size allowed and then we have the list size to track the current size of the linked list okay so these are being assigned in the class constructor here now let's look at the insert front and the insert rear code so if you look at it insert front we are given a value first check is about the overflow case and after that we will be making a new node if there is no overflow and then if there was no node at all this is the first node then i will be making both the head and tail point to the new node and the next and the previous pointer will be pointing to itself just to make it circular okay otherwise if this is not the first node then the tails next pointer will be pointing to new node and then the heads previous will also be pointing to the to the new node so so this is just the idea whatever i had explained at the end you will do list size plus plus and we will be returning true now if you look at the insert last api then it will also look very similar so in this case of the first thing we do is the overflow check after that we make the new node and then if this is the first node then we will assign both head and tail to the new node and adjust the pointers to make it uh, circular 
and after that uh, if this is not the new node then the tail will be pointing to the new node and new node will be pointing back to tail and uh, after updating the tail we need to also update the head right so the heads previous will be tail and the new nodes next should also be head isn't it and after that we uh, increment the list size and return true that it was inserted so this is how we can implement the insert front and insert last after having done this let's see how to delete the uh, values so let's say that uh, our list is empty so if our list is empty our list size will be equals to zero in that case we will have an underflow okay and we have to return minus one and uh, that is true either you want to uh, i mean delete from the front or last if you do not have an item it is called underflow case now if the list size is uh, greater than zero then we can always delete the items let's take a scenario where there were three items in the entire list and the list size was three and let's say the max size was three as well now in this case if i want to delete from the front then i have to first delink this uh, i mean the front value and then only we can remove it but if you delink it if the if you make both the pointers next and the previous pointer as null then the head cannot get updated to the next item because the next item was not saved so for that reason what i will do is i will take a current pointer pointing to the head then i will update the head to head next okay and then i will delink this current how i will delink is make the uh, previous pointer of head point to tail so it will not be pointing here it will be pointing to three okay and make the next pointer of the tail uh, point to the head which is the new head right so it will be pointing to this one and this will be delinked after that you make the next pointer of current equals to null and the previous pointer of two equals to null which is current and then you use the delete to uh, actually remove that means deallocate this space of two similarly you can also do the same for the tail to implement delete last okay deletion is only possible if you have at least one item right and if you had only one item then you had to update head and tail equals to null let's look at the code implementation if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number now if you look at the code for delete front and delete last they will look very very similar in case of delete front if uh, there are no items it will cause underflow and we cannot delete we return false otherwise if the list size is one then we will be deleting the head directly and make the head and tail equals to null otherwise if you have more than one item then you do as i had explained and this is the uh, step by step explanation of that after doing the deletion list size will decrease by one and we will be returning true because we were able to delete the item now if you look at the delete last then the delete last api uh, will also be similar again the underflow case along with if you just had one item then just uh, delete the entire list and make it null otherwise uh, you will delete the tail item right so the tail will be made to move to the previous uh, item and then you remove the tail altogether by changing the pointers right and decrease the list size by one so this is the delete front and delete last and the time complexity will be order of one for both of the cases because uh, we are just doing constant operations right now in order to uh, do the next apis i can just explain you here when we are uh, doing the get front the get front can easily uh, send the value of the head if there are no items return minus one definitely but if there are some items the head is pointing to the front so return head value it is order of one then get rear get rear will be the last item last item was pointed to by the tail so if you don't have any item return minus one otherwise you return the tail value this is also order of one now the is empty is empty will return if the list is empty so the list size was uh, maintaining what is the current list size if it is zero then it will be empty otherwise it will not be empty right so if it is empty return true otherwise false and then is full is full is uh, if uh, the insertion is no more possible because the list size is equals to max size so if list size is equals to max size return true otherwise return false it is not full so all the apis 
वॉट एवर वी हैव सीन इन द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ डिजाइनिंग अ सर्कुलर डी क्यू आर ऑल ऑर्डर ऑफ वन एंड दिस इज द मोस्ट ऑप्टिमल इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड आई होप यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन देन प्लीज कमेंट बिलो एंड आई ट्राई टू हेल्प यू एज सुन एज पॉसिबल लाइक एंड शेयर आवर वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल इन ऑर्डर टू वॉच मोर ऑफ दिस प्रोग्रामिंग वीडियो सी यू गाइज इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू